Good evening, people. Watch them at 65. Lisa Boyce, let me give you a verse of scripture. It is out of Psalm 91, verse 5. Actually, verse 5 and 6. It says, Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth at noon, or that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. In other words, he has our back. Let me give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried and rose again on the third day according to scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in Christ alone. Not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve, that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. The moment you put your faith and trust in Christ, the moment you accept Christ as Savior, not only are you saved, but you are justified by the blood of Jesus. You are protected. You are rapture ready, which is going to happen at any time, and you're sealed until the day of redemption, which means you cannot and will not lose your salvation. The Holy Spirit will indwell in you. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you, minister to you, encourage you, speak to you, teach you. If you listen and if you let him and he will change you. This article, I got a couple of articles that just came out. And by the way, dinner, we went to Cheesecake Factory. It was excellent as always. I took him for his mom's final going out dinner for a while until he gets back. So... But this just came out. Now, SpaceX Falcon is called Falcon Heavy Rocket Launch, a secretive X 37B military space plane is going to be launched in a few minutes, actually. So, a, a SpaceX Falcon Heavy is called Falcon Heavy rocket is posed to launch the X-37B space plane for the U.S. Space Force today after several delays and it is going to be aired live. Supposed to be on, well, supposed to probably already took off because it was supposed to do it at 8.07. So, what is this? Liftoff of the Falcon Heavy is scheduled to occur from Launch Complex 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida during a window that opens at 8.07. If, as expected, SpaceX webcasts the liftoff, so you could, like I said, it's already done, I think, so you had a chance to watch it. My question is this, why are they doing this now? And what is this? Because this is military grade. Military grade. Okay. Um, this thing was supposed to SpaceX announced the initial delay of the flight by 24 hours Sunday, December 10th. The SpaceX scrubbed the plan Monday, December 11th. Launch of the X-37B space plane due to ground issue for at least 24 hours. A new launch date was announced Tuesday, December 12th, targeting Wednesday, December 13th. But the launch was delayed again due to ground system checks. So as SpaceX officials posted on X, the, company's, um, the company then targeted for December 28th today. The X-37B is a space plane that has launched several classified long-duration missions in space, but it is unclear why it is launching on the more massive Falcon Heavy as opposed to the workhorse Falcon 9 that SpaceX has launched on it before. Don't tell me anything about space or anything like that because without it, you wouldn't be able to talk to me nor see me. There are satellites there, okay? Your computer wouldn't work. Your phone wouldn't work. Nothing would work. Now, in the case of an EMP, 
which I got a feeling that's part of what this is. Nothing will work. Absolutely nothing will work. So the upgrade in launch vehicle may have to do with mass. So I don't know, this features a cargo bay uh, to house equipment and experiments and it could be carrying a secondary mission payload that requires Falcon heavies added lift capacity. So I don't know what this thing is, but all I know is that it is military grade and it is being launched supposedly today after several days of delays. I find that interesting knowing that Putin has just moved all of his weapons, nukes, to Belarus. Not all of them, but a lot, a good majority of them to Belarus, which he had did in the past. Needless to say, folks, something again is going on. You can look at it however you want, but something is definitely going on. Now, this came out also. I got a lot of news here, but I can't only do but so much. Israel carried out an aerial strike targeting a main Syrian air defense base in southern Syria today. In the latest bombing campaign since the outbreak of war in Gaza on October 7th. Now, Syrian air uh, army and intelligence sources says today. Citing a Syrian military source, state media had earlier said missile strike coming from the direction of the Israeli-occupied Golan Heights had several uh, targeted sites it did not identify. One air defenses confronted the Israeli aggressor's missiles and downed some of them with uh, only material losses. Later, a Syrian army source was quoted on state media as saying Israel staged another round of strikes after midnight near the capital of Damascus and but gave no details. Reuters could not independently verify the report. There was no immediate comment from Israeli's military. Again, I reiterate, something is going on. Okay? Definitely. Something is really going on. And I can feel it more than ever now. Now, what got me saying this, that something is going on, is this. This just came off of, uh, actually, the Washington Post from Microsoft. Massive, treacherous waves to hit California coast this week. Now, I've lived in Silicon Valley. I've lived in Southern California. I've never had waves like this, like what they're talking about. Giant waves. And I know people are going to say, people who live in California are going to say, this is normal. No. <laughs> Folks, before you go back and comment and say that this is normal, we are not in normal times. Need I remind you? No, we're not. Giant waves are forecast to pummel the California coastline churned up by Pacific storms sweeping across the West Coast this week. Meteorologists are warning that tremendous wave energy will lead to tre treacherous conditions at California beaches. Thursday, today through the weekend, and high surf warnings and advisories have been hoisted up and down the coast. In some spots, waves could be as large enough to damage piers and could cause coastal flooding and significant beach erosion, breaking wave heights up to 40 feet are possible along Northern California coastline with a peak swell arriving near high tide late Thursday morning, which has already happened. 
Massive waves were rocking the coast Thursday morning while, and there were already reports of flooding and damage to roads. Now, I know this has happened in California before, but it's rare. It's not something that happens all the time. And please don't write me and tell me this happens all the time. This is normal. This is freaking not normal, okay? Nothing is normal about what's going on right now because of the times that we're in. People need to get their head out of the sand and realize that. There is nothing normal about what's going on now. We have storms, earthquakes, and everything that's happening in these end times that we're in right now. This is not normal. There is nothing normal anymore. We need to be looking up. I'm telling you, something's going on. I can feel it more than ever. Other people can feel it more than ever. Something is going on. I'm going to link this in the description box. It says the satellite data shows waves about 42 feet high in an open ocean offshore on Wednesday. And this is a meteorologist with the Bay Area weather in Monterey, California. Nice area, too. Monterey was really nice. These are not the highest waves heights that we've seen, but certainly on the larger side, she said. They are deadly due to their size and uh, potential run-up. Our biggest concern is, getting, is people getting too close to the water and potentially getting swept away. So I will link this in the description box along with everything else. Folks, I'm telling you, there is something in the air. With, and it is a spiritual thing. It is a spiritual thing. Just like this war with Gaza. It's not, it's not about power. It's not about land. It's about a spiritual battle that's going on right now. We're seeing it right up right in our face we're seeing it so the next thing on God's prophetic calendar is the rapture the harpazo the catching away the snatching away for those of you who say that the rapture word rapture is not in the Bible well you need to read it in the Greek and whatever but you know I'm not going to get into that that is the next thing on God's prophetic calendar Folks, then the great tribulation comes in. My advice to everyone who's listening to this is to get saved like right now. Seriously, get saved. Saved, born again. Washed in the blood. The only way to get washed in the blood is to get saved. I will link this in the description box. And if anything else comes up, I will be back on. Thank you.